Hi there, it's Tim from Tim's Electric, and today I've got a special one. Um, Ride the Glide, which is just over there, uh, very kindly uh, have lent me this scooter. This is a scooter that they're sort of testing out to see if it's, you know, if it's something they want to bring into their store. It's called a Rhino. It's got 52 volts, an 18 amp hour battery. There's a second option as well, which they didn't get, which has got the, a bigger battery. I think it's like a 23 amp hour battery. It's got twin 1000 watt motors, nice big light at the front, big clamp. I'm going to show you all the display in the next stop we make, but it's also got hydraulic brakes front and rear. So, you know, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to take this for a spin, just like I normally do. A big guy perspective of what it's like to ride around on and, uh, you know, what, what it's like for a big guy to, you know, what does it feel like? That's what I'm trying to get across to you. Also, thanks so much for liking this video and for all those that have subscribed and pushed me over that 2000 mark. Wow, thank you very much, much appreciated. Let's go for a boot around Victoria and let's find out what it's really like. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes I'm gonna ask Melissa to come up really close here and I gotta show you a few things on the, uh, on the steering, on the handlebars here. First of all, right up here, we have a really nice display, a nice big display. Um, I think I can adjust the brightness. It's not overly bright right now, but it's also really sunny. And of course, over on the left-hand side, we have plus minus for the different gears. So if I press negative, I'm gonna go down to gear one, gear two, gear three power bar and then memory settings so I can turn it off here of course and you got the e Rhino logo turn it back on and it boots up really fast we've got the uh, horn option here that's really loud and then single and dual for the motors so that's really nice on this side br dual brakes zoom hydraulic brakes so and they're really really nice I love hydraulic brakes um, the other thing I'm going to mention is the handlebar height. I think it's a little bit low. It's okay for me. It's not like I'm really feeling tippy, but um, it feels a bit low. Um, I always like it to, if I can have it just slightly above my waist, I find that's a little bit more comfortable. And the deck sides, let me just show you this deck. It's enormous. With these big feet on it, you can stand side by side. No problems whatsoever. So it's got an enormous deck. In the next spot, I'm going to show you how to break it down, fold it up, and whether or not you can carry it. It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time. Met you on a Friday, halfway out at the door of the club, playing so long the weekends. Stayed in bed till Wednesday, fell in love with you right there and then. I was young, couldn't see that. Alrighty, as promised, here is uh, the breakdown. I'm gonna ask Melissa to come up close and I'll show you this enormous clamp. I like big clamps at the front here. I like big butts and I cannot lie. It gives it that really, really, really stable. But what's really nice about this clamp is all four of these are loosened just in one smooth motion. So that's kind of nice. And I'm gonna wiggle this up and fold down. Now Melissa's gonna come to the very back here and I'm gonna show you something really interesting. I think it's interesting. <laughs> And that is, it's got the spring latched kickstand that clips into the front here. And that's it. And then if uh, Melissa backs up, she'll be able to see that I can lift it. Definitely a two hand job, but um, yeah, it's a big one. I'm gonna guess that's uh, around 30 kilos. Yeah, it's probably around 30 kilos. So uh, certainly hot handy for uh, lifting and putting it into your, the trunk of your car. Um, but you know what? It's really handy that you can even collapse this because it is a bigger scooter and it's got the twin 1000 watts. So I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna go along the, uh, the ocean side now and I'm gonna be testing out speeds um, and uh, acceleration and all that kind of fun stuff. And I'm gonna share with you what I find. So I 
so what do I like so far? I really like the power. Um, it's got oodles and oodles of power. It's got the single and the dual. What I'm actually finding is that it's so powerful that I need to uh, switch it to single motor for most of the time. But when I want the extra, when I want to give it the beams, I switch it into dual motor. So that's what's really nice about it. Um, the suspension, it's quite stiff which makes it really nice for going over the bumps. It feels like you're really in good control, like you're having no issues over the bumps. Really smooth, I don't know if you noticed, but when we were going over the sleeping policeman in the parking lot, it was no problem whatsoever. We're actually shooting right now in front of Ogden Point in Victoria. And I remember just the other day, in fact, like two days ago, Melissa and I were sitting in these very seats and we were uh, able to capture the um, the killer whales that they went past, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that was kind of nice, nice to see. And uh, because we had the scooters with us, we were actually able to follow the killer whales all the way through. So that was kind of neat. Anywho, um, I'm gonna keep going. Brakes are good, power is good, suspension's good, lots of room on the deck. We're gonna keep going and uh, figure out what, uh, if there's anything I don't like about it. So one of the things I did notice is that it actually has sort of like an off-road tire to it. So back in this field, you can probably tell it doesn't rain here in the summer. Um, I'm gonna go for a boot around the field and let you know what I think of the off-road capabilities. So I'm gonna switch this to dual motor and tear off into the sunset. Wow, super powerful. It was able to get me up the inclines, no problem. Um, lots and lots of power. On the descent, I got a little fast, if I'm honest, and uh, the brakes were totally, totally uh, capable of slowing this big guy down really, really fast. So that was good. Um, yeah, let's keep going. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the display and all those fun things. Maybe find a nice spot in the shade. <laughs> What don't I like about this scooter? Um, I really, there's nothing really I don't like about it. It's actually a really nice scooter. Like it's got, you know, the twin 1000 watts, that's like super powerful. I'm a big guy and it absolutely is uh, no problems getting me up to speed. Um, as I said earlier, I'm switching it into single mode most of the time anyway. I find the, uh, the handlebars are really, really, really stable. Um, the handle grips are locked and they're really comfortable. Just one thing, and that is the throttle itself. It actually comes with a thumb style throttle you go this way with, you know, up and down. But Michael over at Ride the Glide added this style thumb throttle. Um, I don't know, let me know down below what you think. Which, which do you prefer on your scooter? Do you prefer them to go horizontally or vertically? Uh, the display, I think the display is going to look really cool at night, but I don't, I'm not going to be riding it tonight. So uh, you got to see what it looks like uh, during the daytime, really clear. I love the clamp. 
that four big screws going through and the nice width of that, I think that makes a lot of sense. I like big butts and I cannot lie. It does have a big light at the front. I never figured out how to turn it on. So to turn the lights on, thank you Ride the Glide. You just press the power button, hold it and it turns the light on. And that's a nice bright LED at the front. But uh, you know, that's typical Tim. I'm gonna put the specifications of the scooter right up now so you guys can take a look at it. I probably showed this earlier in the, in the video as well. The braking, I really, really like to have um, these styles of this style of braking, you know, to have hydraulic brakes, it just makes it so smooth. And then when you do need that extra bit of braking power, it's there for you. Uh, as I said, it's stable. Maybe the bar height is a bit short. That's the only thing that I could think of that isn't great about the scooter. But wow, I, I was quite tickled by the Rhino. So if you have any more questions about this Rhino, put those down in the comments down below. If you're interested in buying one, you can ask Ride the Glide how much they are. And I'll put a link to uh, Ride the Glide in the, uh, in the show notes down below. Very special thank you to Melissa, the camera person. We're in the double unicorn. That is two cameras front facing and rear facing for this ride today. Much appreciated. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. I think uh, I think the next thing to do would be to hit that like button. That'd be great. And always, please, if you're wearing, if you're flying around on a scooter, wear a helmet. My goodness, that one time I saw somebody get really badly hurt. If they didn't have a helmet, um, it would have been lights out for them. It was really scary. So please wear a helmet. Thanks, guys. Take care.